All right, everybody, I'm here with one of the fitness business mentor clients, Jerome, and we're going to chat a little bit about, Jerome, your experience that you've had thus far within the program. So just kind of a little bit of a backstory. Can you uh, fill us in on how long you've been working online and then also the types of clients and the types of people that you are currently helping? So uh, online, I started out at uh, beginning in COVID. So I think that was uh, March of 2020, I believe. So, and I've gone through um, multiple coaching programs and um, been getting information in terms of how to run my business or what I should do or how I should do it. So, and then like the clients that I had gotten initially based off of what I was taught before is completely different from the people I'm dealing with now. Um, back then it was like, I was trying to sell anybody and everybody and, um, and I was okay with it, but it was like really stressful because we had a lot of clients we had to deal with for, for not a whole lot of um, compensation. And then now it's different. It's like now it's just a handful of more premium high ticket clients um, who are not such a pain to deal with. And um, yeah. it's, it's, it's a lot, so it's a lot better feeling in terms of how business has progressed since then so sure that would be the, the big difference sure L looking back you kind of prefaced a little bit but looking back when you first joined in on the fitness business mentor uh group what were the biggest challenges you were having because you were still online at that point what were the biggest challenges you were having then biggest challenge was just getting in front of the clients that we want to be or prospects that we would enjoy working with should we you know, decide to work together. So before I had a whole lot of consistently getting uh, low quality leads and um, it changed once we started working uh, with, with this group. Sure. Um, what were some of the other things that you were trying before joining into fit, fitness business mentors? Not necessarily specific, but uh, you had mentioned the lower ticket, working with a lot of people. What were some of the other things that you were trying before you, you know, came across fitness business mentors? Uh, yeah, the lower ticket with working with whomever, but um, I didn't get a whole lot of guidance specifically on how to structure. Like the big thing is, is social media and putting yeah. yourself out there and making yourself known as to you're the expert in your space. And so uh, I think the big thing that was missing really was just the guidance in terms of what it kind of content to put out and what it said and whatever like they were just saying hey just post more often and just post every day and do facebook lives and post content and get interaction and that was the bulk of what we were doing and so we were like you know breaking our backs producing content like nonstop uh for very little interaction and um and then when it did pay off it wasn't that great whenever we did it sure Okay. Uh, what would you say in this group now, what would you say has made the biggest impact to change that philosophy and to change the way that you guys are running your business now as compared to what you were doing prior? The biggest impact would be really more so having more guidance in terms of content. We are putting out higher quality content less often. So because we've, what we found um, that we've been taught, especially is that you, you can't keep up a certain level of quality when you have to do it like multiple times a day or every day. And it's, it's hard to do that, um, especially if you're not a writer and like, that's not my strong suit. So um, I think that's been the big thing is better quality less frequently. Um, but at the same time, also one of the big things that um, I've learned that one of the biggest takeaways is really how the psychology of the sales process yeah. that's been like the hugest game changer for me um because closing the size deals now is that i i'm closing is something that i would never have thought of before yeah. um, but i feel like it has everything to do with what we've been taught or i've been taught in um how i handle closing or how i interact with prospects uh, whenever i get on a call with them can you can you touch on the, some of the changes for you as a coach now that you can now have the opportunity to work with? You mentioned less people, um, you know, posting less, creating less content, improving your sales skills. 
So as you've transitioned and improved on all of those skills, what's it like coaching now as compared to what it was like coaching before, even though they were both still online? Oh, it's like day and night difference. Um, it's a lot less stressful um, because before I was trying to be everything to all these people all the time um, because that's what I said I would do because I want to yeah. be a good coach. Yep. Um, but now it's they, the people that we have, like even though they're investing more, they're more so, they're, they're happier to do what we ask them to do versus the people who demanded everything from us for nothing like yeah. it, so it's like a completely different um way of thinking it like totally changed the whole experience and so like less stressed for me um and, and my partner and uh it's just i i don't, I don't ever want to go back to the way it was because yeah. that it wasn't worth it but i think um you know what well, we learned and um this is the way definitely the way to go you mentioned I would never want to go back. What would you say to someone who maybe was in your spot where you were prior to joining into this program, who was uh, you know, busting their butt, creating tons of content, doing all of those things, but not seeing those results? What would you tell yourself you know, uh, a year ago, or roughly when you joined? What would you tell somebody that was in that same spot? It doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't have to be that way, no matter what you see or hear online. It doesn't have to be that way. Um, and if once you believe that and you actually get shown how to not keep going that direction yeah. and, and you see that it pays off, you'll feel the exact same way. Um, it's life is just so much better whenever <laughs> that's if you can think about other things besides all that. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I, I appreciate you sharing that. And Jerome, any final words for anybody that would be watching this that you'd want to, uh, that you'd want to add in? Yeah. If, if that's what you've been doing, um, like I just said, it doesn't have to be that way. Um, it completely changed the way I do business and it completely changed my belief in the fact that yes, you can do high ticket clients and they'll happily pay you for it. And there'll be less of a headache and a joy to deal with. Uh, whenever you have the right idea, the right structure behind your content, the right way to do your sales process. Um, and those are all things that we've picked up from this program is just getting the details is like just acquiring skills that I hadn't acquired anywhere else. So I think those would be the big things. And if you don't have it, you just need to realize that, you know, what you don't have is, is keeping you from living the life that you want. Uh, I, I couldn't agree more. I appreciate you sharing a little bit about your story, Jerome, and your background. I know that's going to resonate with, uh, with folks out watching for sure. So thanks again. Hey, it's my pleasure.